This girl has been jumping around inside of me all day because I'm pretty sure she's like, girl, what is going on out there? Are you going to feed me? Have you forgotten that I'm inside here? Somebody needs to feed me right now or I'm going to scream. That's what it felt like she was going through. my channel so this morning I went and I had to do my glucose test and I'm telling you yesterday I was really out here panicking because I thought that the thing tasted bad and so um that was stressing me out the entire time but this morning when I woke up and I was like reading the instructions and I went ahead and let's put y'all here oh that's that's cute and I went ahead and drank the drink and it was great I felt like I could have had another bottle like it was not that bad at all today is my glucose test and i'm drinking the drink and ironically i actually like it it's not that bad this goes to show you can't really listen to what people have to say funny enough my friend rama was telling me girl it's not that bad just take it in small sips and yesterday i was looking at some um videos on tiktok and the people are like use a big straw which i do have this week is our 26th week i have 14 weeks to go and i'm flabbergasted that this baby is going to be here in 14 weeks but glucose drink down at 8 19 i used a minute to drink it all the instructions all got all great We're ready to go i look like a crackhead but okay whatever so i was very happy for that that it didn't taste like crap because honestly i felt like it would have come back up so that was great so i did that and um just came back home that was very very quick my doctor sent my prescriptions to the pharmacy because i needed some more blood pressure medication some more aspirin <clears throat> and um a few other things that said that was my last refill or whatever and so she sent those so that was good now i'm home and i'm doing like a load of laundry god knows that this portable washing machine that i bought is life-changing it just sounded like it stopped going in the in the bathroom so i'm gonna have to check on that to see what's going on with it well yeah, i know that it stopped before and then it just started back but <laughs> that was the appointment I'll insert some little clips of baby and like how she's doing and everything, but she's doing great. Her heartbeat is fine. Everything is great. Hi, y'all. So I did the glucose test on Monday and the level was supposed to be 130 and my, mine was 137. So she told me that it was slightly elevated, which it really was slightly. <laughs> Literally, barely elevated enough for me to feel, but I did. So I have to go in and do it again. So, um... I had to be fasting from midnight and now it's 8 20 and I literally have to go um to make sure that I'm not there all day long because I really do not want to be so I'm ready I haven't eaten anything because I can't let's put my shoes on I'm gonna take this little lap bag with us inside here not much let's pack the essentials i have to write something on my way home because i'm literally starving i my two little braids i'm already so hungry and i'm literally going to be starving there so i have to buy something on my way home i have some purple face masks here we'll wear one of these today i'm going to just put in my bag I literally have nothing to eat. I could Uber home to get here quickly. I also feel like since I cooled out yesterday, last night, I'm gonna just go get my physical done today too, cause that's due as well. <laughs> All right, so we're in this block trench. We're gonna wear this block trench with this outfit just this oatmeal color top with black leggings let's see if you can see black leggings 
things. 26 weeks this week. It's kind of cold outside. The other day I didn't have to wear a jacket. And oh, today I kind of have to. She's moving around so much too because I'm pretty sure the girl is like literally starving at this point. I haven't eaten since after 10 p.m. Should I put my shoes on? Oh, I'm wearing my Hirachis. They are so darn hard to put on. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Maybe the more I wear them, the easier they are to put on. Okay, maybe just one foot. Perfume. Alright, so I'm going to put some lotion on my hands and leave out to go to the glucose test. I'm praying to God that this one is successful, especially because it was barely elevated. So this shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to go and we're going to see how it works out. And we'll report back later. And I drank the glucose drink and it's so nasty. And I have to sit for two more hours. This glucose test is a fucking tragedy. I think it's making me have to poop. So sick of being here. Third blood draw. Tired and I want to go home. And this appointment lasted way longer than I wanted it to. And uh, I was so freaking uncomfortable. And I'm very glad that it's over. And now I'm walking home. I had plans to go to the Marshalls, but that's not going to be happening. I'm going to just go home right now, find something to eat, and go to Saviba. Honestly, I'm too tired and I'm too just exhausted to go anywhere else. One thing's for sure, and two things for certain, is this three-hour glucose test is no joke. It really had me in there sick to my stomach. I left the apartment at like... 825 or so and right now it's 104 the place is not even that far but i literally had to get my blood drawn before so like as soon as i got there so right around 9 a.m i got my blood drawn i drank the ju the glucose test at 9 10 a.m i think this one was a bit more concentrated than the one that i had at home that I did because it t it tasted funny either that or it's just the fact that I've been fasting and I haven't had anything to eat from 12 a.m. this morning there was that the last time I ate was after 11 and then so after I drank it at 9 10 every hour after that for three hours I had to get my blood drawn again and when I tell you, that first hour, I felt like it gave me diarrhea. I literally had to go use the people's bathroom and it was so annoying. I went in there two times. Two, two times an hour apart. So the two times when it was time for me to go back and do the blood draw again, I was in the toilet. One time before and one time after. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed and I literally need to go home because this is pissing me off. So I had to sit and wait for an additional hour to do the last blood draw and then I got to leave. And honestly, I wish I had looked up tips and tricks to pass in the glucose test because to know that I was just over by 7, it really pissed me off. Had I looked up tips and tricks that, that week, I would have stayed away from all the things I was drinking or whatever that week. I don't know. Okay, so I was annoyed by that. Now I'm home and I literally feel like I'm starving. This girl has been jumping around inside of me all day because I'm pretty sure she's like, girl, what is going on out there? Are you going to feed me? Have you forgotten that I'm inside here? Somebody needs to feed me right now or I'm going to scream. That's what it felt like she was going through. And her essentially going through that meant that I was going through that too. And I just, you know, I really had to pace myself for the last hour that I had to wait for. And I'm like, it's just another hour less annoying than having to prick myself three or four times a day for the next month I'm, I don't want to have to do that so like whatever it takes so I did that it's over and I'm glad it's over my OB is probably gonna call me tomorrow to tell me 
whatever she wants to tell me. At this point, I don't really know and I don't really, I don't really care. I'm over it. <laughs>